Hi viewers, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to talk about Blackboard. So, Blackboard, you know this is the best and the first aviates. Okay? So, when we go to school, we always get oriented with this blackboard. So, very um, memorable, very uh, like you have, you will have lot of remembrance with this blackboard. Even now, when you are studying in your college level, you remember blackboard as a part of your school life. That much beautiful history this blackboard has. Okay? So, let us talk about this interesting blackboard. This is the most available uh, aviate all over. Okay, so the cheap, the best aviates ever. So it sets standards. Like once you are using this aviates of blackboard in the correct uh, manner, it sets standards, neatness, accuracy, and speed. So don't think like I am not for I am not following the rules of uh, blackboard but I have to use this board. So, now only one video I can show on blackboard. So, I have to use this in an effective way. So, I am using like this. So, but when you are using blackboard effectively, you are setting standards and accuracy and the speed of the class is going to improve when you are following the rules. Okay? So, what are the uses of blackboard? The first one, it is the most concrete and the understandable aviates okay so your um, just always remember your uh, school teachers okay so how beautifully they had used these blackboards okay so they will write in this blackboard and keep and sometimes teachers they used to tell draw this heart and lungs and like they will tell you a particular diagram draw a plant and keep so you draw and you name the part so beautifully color color uh, chalks you use and you draw and you make it more attractive. Okay. So, likewise, so you can give a consolidated idea when you are using a blackboard okay. and then rest restores attention. So, your blackboards always like you are in contact with the teacher. So, always you the teacher write something, ask something. So, it is always like together with the a student and the teacher. So, the relationship between the teacher and the student is very good when the blackboard and then we have clarified with. So, when you are having doubts, these blackboards gives us a lot of solution. Okay? So, only with this blackboard you would have learnt lot of uh, uh, like sketches, lot of uh, outlines. You can just jot downing points and all those things and directions. So, how it is like moving up and down the narrow marks and all those things and then diagrams your hearts lung like boy girl all those things you have learned and then the summaries so whenever you talk about a subject the teacher will write finally the definition the causes the uh, types the signs and symptoms management everything fast fast she will write in the board okay so this gives a consolidated idea about the class okay then we have oral and visual that is like your learning ability is increased more because the teacher is going to write teach write teach it is like together it is going to happen so the learning is becoming more lively and active in the class and then to cite examples and problem solving we use these blackboards okay so when there is any doubt with your calculations with your sum so what your teacher does they solve okay so 2 divided by lcm hcf all those things your algebraic formulas all derivations are made in the blackboards and then creative and decorative works that's what i said you know sometimes the teacher will tell you okay draw a tree and keep i am going to teach about tree tomorrow okay so what do you do do bring color color chalk piece draw a nice tree okay or green color tree brown color box orange color fruit and a green color um, like uh, vegetable and all those things you draw in that tree making it so beautiful okay so that is all your creativity and your interest in your learning activity so that can be exhibited with your blackboards and then it is your reusable boards okay you write erase write erase okay so it is reusable okay so that is with your uh, uses of blackboard and then we have the rules 
when you use a blackboard how are we supposed to use okay so now first is the neat and clean boards okay always have the boards very neat even in your interior villages when you go to some villages where you go in for teaching uh, some health education programs and that time you can see like small small uh, schools like where the blackboards will be very beautiful okay very beautiful in the sense don't think it is new boards okay the old boards where it is like they collect these leaves and charcoal powder and all those things they coat that boards very beautifully okay so that the writings are very clear and prominent okay so the boards have to be very neat and it has to be written number of present number of absent all those things the rules of the board has to be followed and then we have drawings to be large because the crowd is going to be big you have 50 students 100 students so that much crowd you have and because of that what you have to do you must have drawings to be big enough and then we have no spelling mistakes so no spelling mistake in the sense like you must see to that you try to avoid spelling mistake because the children they look at the board and then they write it in their notebook once the teacher does the spelling mistake it will be reflected on all the 50 notebooks ok. So, must be careful when you are writing on the boards. When you write in the straight line the student also follows ok. So, that is like from one corner to the other corner it has to be in the straight line and then no abbreviations. So, you are not supposed to use any abbreviations ok. We, I would have uh, like many times like I would have written a short form like with an implementation n and s t and all those things. So, you are not supposed to use all those things like it, it has to be in the full form. And then face the group and discuss ok. When the teacher is writing something she has to write on the board look at the student and then she has to talk not writing and talking that is a very bad principle of using a blackboard. She is not supposed to write and talk because when she is turning this side the students may not hear or understand what the teacher is talking about. So, always finish that writing part and then you have to talk with the students ok. So, be clear with the writing and the talking part and then only the key points you are not supposed to fully pack the board with the, your points or your lines and sentences it is only the key points like you put arrow mark and you write that much be sufficient and use colors like to make it more attractive you have to use lot of colors and then class to be attentive see when the teacher is turning this side and writing what happens naturally students they talk talking ok. So, what is your lunch, what is your snacks and all those things they will ask, but whenever like there is like something going on when you turn this side and right always be attentive ok what are you doing like that you have to ask some questions so that the students are very attentive in the class ok do not allow the students to talk in between. And then practice before, so ok the teacher must write on the blackboard and practice before she starts writing in front of the students or otherwise what happens she may make mistakes she may uh, not write in the straight line. So, all these things can happen. So, to avoid this situation she has to practice in that blackboard and then she has to take real classes ok. So, with this we complete the rules of using blackboard then we have the types of chalkboards ok. So, chalkboards we have different different types of chalkboards. So, first is your ordinary chalkboard, ordinary chalkboard in the sense like what you have learned, what you have seen in your schools that is your ordinary chalkboard. And then we have roller board, roller board is your same blackboard that ordinary board you will roll and you have to keep it in your bag and you go wherever you are going where sometimes you take that roller board you hang it on the tree and you can take class. Uh, if you are going outside the class there is no current sometimes this also happens in school there is no current nowadays no schools are like that without uh, your generators ok there are like they it is like that. But in uh, a government school or otherwise like in olden days what happens this roller boards they used to take these roller boards and they sit in the open place they hang it on a window or a door and then they start taking classes lively classes beautiful classes you will have. And then your magnetic boards magnetic boards like you will have small small alphabet letters and behind that you will have magnets 
fixed ok and your magnetic board what you have to do just you have to pin up the spelling so that will be sufficient and then we have black ceramic on unbreakable board the black board what we are talking about is the normal black board you are having the ceramic black board also which is not breakable you would have seen nowadays the kids they have that small black board at home ok it is it is unbreakable those type of boards and then we have black or green glass boards this also you would have seen in school you will have either a green or a glass uh, black glass board so you can use that boards also for teaching then lobby stand board so you will have a, a three uh, pillar like that and that uh, you can use it in the lobby you would have seen in front of the colleges during inspection and all they used to keep in front of restaurants hotels and all those areas in the lobby session they used to keep that is your lobby stand board and then we have the exhibition board exhibition board we have discussed like where we used to keep these photos and all those things where we exhibit things ok sometimes in colleges you have uh, your celebrations of your nurses day lamp lighting ceremony all these photos and all like you stick it in that exhibition board and then we have reception board reception board is like when you go to uh, restaurants like hotels or otherwise even in college when there is a uh, inspection so at that time there will be a board kept in that reception welcome mrs so and so the dean principal of so and so college to this college for inspection like that you will write in that reception that is your reception board and then we have tariff board tariff board in the sense it is in big big uh, offices and uh, executive areas like where you talk about uh, like your data uh, accomplishments and datas and the winner uh, all those things you talk about so that is your tariff your target fixing the amount of today's thing in gold companies and all like today's gold rate is like that and all they that is your tariff board and then we have paging boards paging boards again like you have like where you stick many uh, posters and papers like where you want to do instructions your notice boards like where like your uh, Indian nursing council has sent uh, 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 a manual so you want to you want all the students to see so you stick it in the boards ok that is your paging board then we have white board so what we are using now what I am using now is your white boards where you color color pens you write then you erase it and again it is reusable then we have the notice board exactly notice board what we are using in the colleges your open notice board what all information you want to convey your mass rotation plan timetable and all those things you paste in that open notice board and then finally we have double sided stand board so double sided stand board is like one side you have that black board and one side you have that white board or otherwise sometimes it is like one side black board sometimes one side it is green board so any time it will vary so you will have double colors in using the board so with this we complete chalkboards or blackboards so where we have discussed about the meaning of the boards and here i have missed this plywood the size of the board it is going to be 30 inch into 40 inch that is the normal size of the board like where you cut the plywood and then you have to make arrangements so this wood and all like you can make arrangement so the otherwise you would have skin in school that big big black boards also their double boards also will be there so that is like according to the affordability and the area you where you are having to place the black board it will vary ok so we have seen the black board uh, the size of the black board then the uses the rules and the types of the boards available hope you understood about this black boards uh, let us discuss in the next class with a new topic ok till then take care bye